guys and welcome back to the Dive Besties channel Jazz over here and today we are going to be talking about everyone's favorite topic not really but we're talking about HbA1c Okay so what is HbA1c full form yeah HbA1c full form is glycated hemoglobin anyone with type 1 diabetes will know and will have heard this word get your a1c tested what is your hba1c and it can be pretty daunting at times and i'm talking from personal experience but just want to put it out there that um hba1c is a three monthly test that you do if you have type 1 diabetes and it tells you the average of your last three months sugar so it was originally meant to be an indication of good glycemic control but over the years what has happened is that that indication that gold standard of good glycemic control has changed and it's changed because of multiple reasons and we're going to get into that right now so what hba1c is is the amount of glucose molecules that are actually stuck onto the hemoglobin which is found in the red blood cell of your blood um and uh, and you know everyone is under that impression of oh my god if you have a high a1c you're a bad diabetic and i just want to put it out right there that firstly there is nothing like a bad diabetic and anyone who says that just ignore them they're not important but the idea is that the hba1c is in different percentages in india for example we have it uh 5% to 6% 6.5 7 is a good control 7% to 8% is not bad 8% onwards um it's considered to be a higher a1c which indicates a higher average blood sugar uh in the last 3 months um uh, now why hba1c is now moving away from the gold standard of good glycemic control is because your a1c can be um manipulated and changed by a lot of other factors and it does not give you a very accurate indication of good glycemic control now for example um if you're on particular medications that can alter your a1c if you have a deficiency of b12 it can actually make your a1c higher if you have a deficiency of iron it can also make your a1c higher You could be doing everything right on the diabetes front but if you have a particular other uh, supplement deficiency you could have a higher A1C. And when you have a higher A1C, it just goes through this entire like tornado of being oh my god what have I done wrong what can I change etc etc. A lower A1C can be caused also by a lot of hypos. So if you have frequent episodes of hypoglycemia your average automatically comes down. I mean that much math even I know though I'm not very good at math but the idea is that you have lower hypos your a1c will come down which is again not a clear indication of glycemic control so you could be very happy with a low a1c but actually you'll be getting a lot of hypos so your quality of life and your actual uh, day to day management is not being recorded in that one number of an a1c which is why now the indication of good glycemic control is given more to time in range and time in range is measured by a cgm or a blinded cgm wherein you understand that in the duration of the 24 hours how much percent are you actually staying in range and not too high and not too low because what happens with an a1c also is that sometimes you could have spikes but every one of those numbers could in actually increase your um, number of the a1c so time and range gives you a very good indication of your quality of life your diabetes management and your general sense of type 1 diabetes so um, a lot of people have a lot of distress about hba1c uh, they get really scared and like i remember as a kid what i used to do is when i knew i was going to get my a1c tested like for that week i would be a super super particular check my sugar 20 times a day try to ensure that my a1c not knowing really that that's not going to make much of a difference you know so i just want to put the message out there that all of these are just numbers and they do not define you there's nothing as a good diabetic and a bad diabetic we all are people living with diabetes we all have struggles and successes and none of that can be quantified with a number so please don't let that one number dictate your life the important thing is that you're trying you're trying every single day and that is what matters the most So that was just a little bit of information about HbA1c. I'm going to put a couple of links down below about time and range and things like that um which give you much more robust and cohesive uh, indications of your diabetes management. 
But just remember that you are more than a number. You are a name first and then you are a number. You are a story before you are a statistic. And you are a person before you are a patient. So just remember that, be happy, please stay safe in these times. A humble request to everyone not to step outside unless absolutely needed. Um, with the second wave coming, things are not that good. So stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Um, and remember, you are type one of a kind. If you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. We'll be sure to get back to you. Like and subscribe to the channel. And let us know down below what other videos or what other topics you would like us to make videos on. I'm going to see you in the next one.